In a survival situation, creating a basic fishing rod can be a valuable skill for procuring food. Here's a simple guide on how to make a makeshift fishing rod. Materials needed. Flexible branch or sapling, about 5 to 7 feet long. Fishing line or cordage. Fishing hooks. Bait, insects, worms, or improvised bait. Instructions. Find a suitable branch. Look for a flexible branch or sapling that is approximately 5 to 7 feet long. Ideally, it should have a slight bend and be strong enough to withstand the tension of a fish pulling on the line. Remove any side branches. Strip off any small branches or leaves along the length of the branch, leaving a clean surface. Attach the fishing line. Tie one end of the fishing line securely to the tip of the branch. Use a strong knot, such as the improved clinch knot or a loop knot, to ensure it doesn't come loose. Leave a length of line extending beyond the tip to act as your fishing line. Secure the fishing hooks. Tie one or more fishing hooks to the fishing line using knots such as the improved clinch knot or a snell knot. Space the hooks apart based on the type of fish you're targeting. Add weights, optional. If you have access to small weights or sinkers, attach them to the fishing line above the hooks. This helps to sink the bait deeper in the water. Find or improvise bait. Look for natural bait such as insects, worms, or small fish. If these are not available, you can try using improvised bait such as small pieces of cloth, shiny objects, or even bits of food. Cast and wait. Stand near the water's edge and cast your line into the water, allowing the bait to sink. Watch for any signs of fish activity or bites. Be patient and allow the bait to attract fish. Set the hook and reel in. When you feel a fish biting or sea movement on the line, quickly pull the rod tip upwards to set the hook firmly in the fish's mouth. Carefully reel in the fish, keeping tension on the line. Remember, fishing laws and regulations may vary depending on your location, so it's essential to be familiar with local fishing regulations and obtain any necessary permits if available. Additionally, practice catch and release whenever possible to preserve fish populations and the ecosystem.